Matt Wang Designs, I'm James and today we are going to be looking at this month's tool review which is going to be on trend with the Trend Air Stealth uh, Half Mass Respirator which is one of these. Um, so we're going to be looking at its functions, its forms, uh, how does it compare, what I've had previously, what I think to it and what I would compare it to. Now this is a completely unsponsored video i have no ties to trend at all i'm a very very small youtube channel um and i just feel i should put my points of view across onto these and uh, kind of go from there let's get started okay so like any home workshop um ppe is obviously the most important within it um but alongside that anything that you do buy with and for a home workshop it's expensive you know we're not, we're not in this for making money um the things that we do buy or you know what i buy is i try and buy the best that you know my money can can go for um you know i try and definitely buy the best that i can afford and i have had the 4000 series 3m uh dust mask for well it must be about eight years i've changed the filters a few times uh i've never changed these out of out of ones here uh, but I've changed the centre one and um, this has been fantastic. I've recently restored a wood lathe and I wanted to kind of have one uh, for my metal working and one for purely my woodworking. So price wise, uh, both of which these are around 20 to 25 pound mark. Um, they are both available to get the filters replaced and they're both kind of running in around between 10 pounds for the filters up to around sort of 16 pounds for both of them. I think the 3M is just slightly more, you know, slightly more expensive than the Trend one. Um, I do like Trend products. That's kind of why I went for this. Um, but let's just get straight into uh, the pros and the negatives. Okay, let's go through some of its features on here. So, um, I bought this trend, obviously, is a very, very big name within the woodworking community. Um, I've, you know, I have got, as I mentioned, a few of their bits and bobs, um, and so far, so good. Uh, it's ideal for, as you can see on here, so anything from routing to silica doors to even metal working, which is pretty good. And they do claim, um, that it is, completely removes 99.99% of most airborne particles. Right, okay, so that kind of doesn't tell me a great deal here. I must admit, with both companies doing the research, they're not very clear on the websites for what you actually want to see, and I, I kind of don't want to bore you to death with the technical jargon. Um, there is an expiry date on both. Um, I'm not sure if that is for the mask itself or that's just going to be for the filters. For me, I, I replace the filters when I feel it's necessary. Um, typically between, you know, six to 12 months and um, that kind of time frame, depending on how much it's going to get used. Um, it comes with one of these bags um, for both of these face masks and I always return them back into the bag. My bag for this one has gotten a little bit um, used over the years. You can buy the foam uh, foam moulded cases and I don't really like those because I'm a bit lazy when it comes to putting them back in. So, what do I actually think of this? Um, I would say this has been probably the first thing I've bought this year that I've regretted actually buying um, and I, I don't kind of want to sit here and slag it off completely but there are little certain things that I will go through that I think are a negative there are some pros um, but I would majority of, of it say it was negative to to be honest um, so let me give my reasonings why and um, you know see what you guys have thought Okay, so I'm wearing the mask. The toggle at the back, um, I'll be honest, sucks. You can never get it to line up. It slides down your neck when you're not using this. I've adjusted this twice. And how these kind of work, as soon as you put any amount of pressure on them, they, they just come out. These tags do not lock. Um, all they are is like a... Um, 
uh, what do you want to call that? Uh, like a, a friction fit, if you want a you know, friction, maybe a ratchet point on there. And how that works is as you tension these as they move. And that's great if you're pulling these on a, like a linear way. Um, if you're pulling these like over a hat or over some goggles that you've already got on, it doesn't work. The same with the strap on the back. This just slides down your head. I have admittedly got a square head, um, but you compare this like the 3M one. And this has got what I think is the proper head strap. So this is going to mold around the back of your head. I'll put this on just as a comparison. And we'll put this back on. But the most annoying thing with this, the most annoying thing, and I'm hoping that the audio can, can pick it up, is the vibration with the noise that these valves, when they open, they vibrate. And when you're working on something loud and you've got ear defenders in as well, this sounds, whenever you breathe, it sounds like your mobile phone vibrating. I'll bring you in a little closer so you know what I mean. Can you hear that? And I'm not breathing hard. The same with when you try and talk, it vibrates and turns you into a robot. Very annoying, really annoying. Okay, next point. Okay, so this is all of two weeks, two weeks old. Um, no, sorry, three, well, it's three weeks old, but I've, you know, I've only used it genuinely around twice. And the strap is already fraying. It's got an elasticated back with this additional padding on. And as you can see here, it's just peeling away. It's just peeling away. We'll compare the um, the rubbers as well. This, well, it's got all the rubbish on the front. Maximum comfort for eight hours. So comfortable it can be worn for eight hours a day. All right, okay. Well, I've worn this for half an hour. Granted that these these type of half masks naturally they, they you know build up condensation. I've just wiped quite a uh, a lot of that away, um, just from having it from that amount of time. Um, yeah. Okay. The next point is what I see as a really just silly design on the front. So you've got these tags on here. These are similar to like those face masks that you've got. So you just little toggles. And these pull down, and now I'm going to be really careful with this because you've got the whole of your head, um, you've got the forces of you moving around, you've got it flexing constantly, and it is connected, this whole strap that is under tension, and that is constantly being taut round and pushed from these points here on these two little plastic joints on here. Um, and this isn't like the nice plastic, it's the bendy, shiny stuff. Um, and look what it's connected to. I mean, really? Really? This is, you know, a respirator in a workshop, in a wood shop, in a metalworking shop should be used from your start of your shift to the end of your shift. So this is going to be used, it's going to be chucked down, it's going to be moved, you're going to catch it on things. You know, these need to last. This has lasted me eight years easily. I bought this eight years ago. Um, you know, when I worked on the shop floor, it is comfy. You compare that as well. That's crap. Absolute garbage. With these, um, these just push out from the side and then you can replace them. The rubber is a lot nicer. It's a lot more uh, flexible and it's going to mold to your face a lot more. Um, and this is this has not changed. This is I've worked on this on the outside. I've worked on this. I've you know got paint on it, but etc. This rubber hasn't degraded in any way, shape, or form. This rubber here is for me a lot cheaper. It's a lot shinier, um, and you can feel like beads of sweat kind of drip around this. Whereas this is a lot more textured, a much nicer face mask, 
um, and it does actually fit my face a lot nicer it doesn't vibrate and you know for a few quid more you can get yourself one of these with you know this strap doesn't fray it's much more comfortable these tags on these points here stay a lot um, a, you know exactly the same the head strap is fully adjustable and it stayed like this for many many years so yeah terrible that is, that is just terrible um what else can i say about it what do i like about it uh it looks nice you know trend products are always really good at making it look pretty um you know the filter accessibility is good um again these filters um i can't you know i've had this a few weeks now i can't um give you much feedback the biggest thing for me is the vibrating and this strap piece here this clasp is terrible this slides down the back of your head um, I feel I have to wear my um, baseball cap the other way around just so I can keep this over the rear of the uh, peak just so I can keep it above my head um, yeah not great and you know I will be honest that this isn't the best of time to doing a respirator review I know I'm very, very lucky to have one, um, and I bought this before um, the lockdown happened, and I never thought it would get to kind of this this phase. Um, but I think it is important that you know, especially now that hopefully we're going to be starting to come and see the the other side of this, and people are going to want to be in the workshop, um, keeping safe, and they're going to spend the money on this. And if it was my money, I wouldn't do it. Personally, I would not do it. All the other reviews have ranted and raved and said how wonderful it is. Now, I think that is the worst trend product that I've bought. And I think from my experience from this one, and uh, I had another one at one point. It was red. I can't remember what company it was. Um, for the similar sort of price, I would go for the 3M 4000 series over this 100%. Well, guys, that's going to be a wrap for this one. Sorry, Trend. Well, you haven't won me on this one. I'll see you next time. Hello? Dave? Oh, it's my mask.